So here we have the Kia Stonic on a 71 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We also have the coolant temperature gauge on the left and over on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge and speedometer as well. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car. They are 9,960, above which we've got a digital readout for the speedometer being displayed. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And over on the right-hand side, uh, we have cruise control. Uh, we've also got the ability to change the information that's displayed in that central section just there as well. Uh, and we've got lane departure warning system that you can turn on and off from there as well. Over in the center, you'll then find the touch screen for the car. So this is where you can access satellite navigation. As you can see, really nice, clear color display. Very, very easy system to use. We've done a video uh, that shows how uh, Kia's satellite navigation system works. And you can find that on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. We can get to our radio menu from here. Uh, and you can see we've got DAB and FM radio. You can also listen to your own music as well. Um, you can do that via Bluetooth audio. USB input, uh, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, depending on the type of phone that you've got as well, of course. So plenty of ways to listen to your music and you'll see their AM radio as well. Main volume for the stereo is over on that left-hand side. And if I put the vehicle into reverse, you'll see a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the uh, car is headed in, in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have climate control. So you can adjust the temperature up and down, the fan speed up and down as well. You can determine what direction the air is being distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning on and off. It's on when that light shows, so off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain that temperature. You can hear it doing it by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. You can, main, uh, you can adjust that yourself to override it. You'll see auto has now gone off. Uh, underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input, uh, we can turn the parking sensors on and off. Drive mode will put the car into normal, sport or eco. And then lastly, we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.